Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are we? Thank you for joining me, this is Lion Gates Heart Tarot um, It's lovely to have you, this is your read for the 11th to the 18th of November or thereabouts And the cards are already started coming out um, So please bear in mind, energy is fluid And also, please bear in mind, it can be give or take a few days I hope you enjoyed your read earlier on in the week um, That was a timeless read I did for you to say thank you for being my biggest watchers um, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell because we currently I have darkness attacking my channel. Um, it's not notifying people when I'm posting. Um, also, it just helps everything just continue. So we have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Cups, Strength, Death and the Devil. So I'm just going to clarify those for you. Make sure they're all in view. Taurus. Angel Spirit guys, can we clarify the Eight of Swords? Thank you. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Wands. Anything else for the Eight of Swords? No, the Two of Cups and Angel Spirit guides. Thank you. Wow. Strength, please, Angel Spirit guys. Let's move to Strength. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Wowzers. Taurus, blimey. And if we could go to death, please. Remember, this is a transformation. I am an energy reader. Thank you. Oh, wow. And the devil, please. How are we going to combat this energy? Angel spirit guides. Thank you. <laughs> They're awesome, aren't they? They are awesome. <laughs> oh, you can ride it, honestly. They're amazing. Any more? No. Okay, thank you. Right, my beautiful Taurus. Just because we have darkness, it doesn't mean the light can't squash it, eh? That's what it's all about at the end of the day. So we have the Eight of Swords, and that is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Then we have the Two of Cups. It's a bit obscene on the old tarot, I apologise. And that's clarified with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Um, we have Strength, twice. Um, that's also clarified with the Six of Pentacles, lovely. The World, amazing. The Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have Death and that is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Then we have the Devil Energy clarified with Strength. So we're going to squash him, which is absolutely amazing because when we hold the beast, even though I love lions, I love animals of all kinds, I'm a animal lover myself so we'll pretend that that's the devil and yeah she's she's holding her own there which is ace to see okay guys right so let me take a seat and we shall begin right my beautiful Taurus. so please only take what resonates and leave the rest so we are starting with the eight of swords when we speak about the eight of swords we are moving this way with we with energy by the way so the Eight of Swords, you've had a run of bad luck. You've been feeling trapped and blinded. As you can see, the spirit guide is sat there. He is chained, but he could release himself from those chains at any point. This is like a victim mode. This is how it's making you feel. You feel helpless. And it's basically telling you to ask for help and swallow your pride. And here, as you can see, that is clarified with the Nine of Wands. I see him as quite vulnerable. He has a bandage. So he's, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, what? Sorry about that. They just come in. He has a bandage around his head um, and he looks quite vulnerable and he's holding those wands for his dear life. And this is saying this is the last step, guys, the last step. You know, this is you need self-control and confidence. It's your stability, strength in hard times. This card shows you you have all you need to maintain your position and it will eventually prosper. And then with that, we, we are obviously energy is fluid. So this is epic to, see, epic to see. We are going to the two of cups. The two of cups talks about contentment, balance, love and understanding, partnerships, opposites attract. And it's also the end of rivalry. So whatever's been causing you to feel that way, we are moving forward here. And that is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. So this looks like a beautiful gift from the universe coming in for you here. The Wheel of Fortune, I mean, this is life is a lottery, right? I'm not recommending um, that we gamble or anything like that by buying a lottery ticket. But 
We're, it looks like we're getting a gift from the universe here and we're getting another gift right there. So I'm just saying that life is a lottery and it is completely up to you. But it is looking very, very promising there with the Ace of Wands and also the Wheel of Fortune. So when we speak about the Wheel of Fortune, we're basically talking about 10, completion of a cycle. Life is a lottery, a turn for the better. Um, outside forces are helping you here, okay? This is luck, it's destiny, karma, karma is balancing for you, marks a good look, the wheel is turning and it's the, yeah, the end of a cycle. And the Ace of Wands is coming into play, which is one of the nicest cards in the pack. When we speak about the Ace of Wands, we're basically speaking about enterprise, new creation, new ideas, business, um, or a new relationship can also be indicated here. But it's also, as you can see, the wand is coming out the cloud saying, you create your own reality, guys, get on with it. Use your inner strength. So your strength, you basically, this is about you. This is triumph over your enemies, rapid improvement, overcoming obstacles. And it's about, more importantly, believing in yourself and that whatever this is here, you can do it. You've got to believe in yourself. And with that, comes a gift okay we've got the six of pentacles there it's do not waste this bounty this is generosity put this to good use outstanding debts will be paid and this is your balance coming in and that again is clarified with the world the world is the completion of the cycle it's rewards of your labor and success the end of a cycle and the start of another telling you again battles are overcome it can mean a new chapter in your life and it also can mean traveling the world keep those emotions nicely balanced with your queen of cups energy there as you can see she's the influencer she's an emotional empath okay She's sensitive, artistically gifted, loyal and understanding. And she's always grounded. And even though in rocky waters, her feet are placed firmly on the ground and she's still lovingly holding that heart energy. It's also clarified with the page of pentacles in reverse. When we speak about the page of pentacles in reverse, we're talking about a younger person. OK, it's a childlike energy. Sometimes it's impatience and sometimes it's a younger person or a younger energy. It doesn't have to be a physically younger person. It can mean a younger energy around you who constant need of money, you know, like a scrounger. I hate to say that word, but that sort of energy around you. So, you know, just watch that is all I'm saying. Uh, obviously, take tarot as a warning, right? So this this is a guidance this is a guidance tool from the universe is how I use it energy wise. So just take that and just, yeah, just watch out for the energy. We are going to have a death and transformation with the death card because I only speak energy on this channel. So when I talk about death, it basically means this is a rebirth. OK, death comes in your inner self. This is transformation change, which is the blessing. It's clearly making way for something better. It can mean a major change in your life and it's a rebirth of energy. And that's clarified with the Ace of Cups, which is absolutely beautiful. The Ace of Cups is new beginnings. It can be a cup of love. It's happy times and prosper with those happy times. And again, it's a gift of love from the universe. And you'll be getting this because you are beautiful Queen of Cups energy, Queen of Hearts, as I like to say. We have to deal with the devil because we always do. Um, unfortunately, in everyday life, we're fighting, right? This could be some sort of toxicity. As you can see, she's chained to him. She can break those chains and and she can leave. And I always see her here. As you can see, her eyes are closed. The devil's getting angry. So she's releasing her energy from him, which I see her having great strength and going like that. So obviously the devil uh, energy is toxic. It can be a feared state. It can sometimes there's immovable objects, but those objects can be worked around. You just got to use you just got to use your brain, basically, work around them, you know, he doesn't stop you doing anything, only you stop you doing something, it's telling you to use your inner strength here, and you, you'll triumph over your enemies, and he is an enemy, right, so rapid improvement, you overcome the obstacles, and it's about believing in yourself, so there we go, my beautiful Taurus, so we start the read, obviously, we start the read, obviously, you feeling trapped and everything like that. But we are moving forward with the two of cups. You've got the beautiful, beautiful Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Wands, which is a gift from the universe. It's telling you to use your inner strength and there might be a gift of monetary value coming to you, which enables you to either travel the world um, or start this new cycle as well. And then you've got the Queen of Cups energy balancing those heart chakras. Just watch for that page of pentacles in reverse the... Um, 
scrounger i hate to say it you having a death and transformation and this is a gift from the universe and with that you will get the ace of cups energy uh you have to deal with the devil don't we all um and we have to use our inner strength in order to do so and stamp on that darkness and then we open to the light as you can see with the strength she has an infinity symbol above her head also so it's beautiful to see right my beautiful taurus angel spirit guys may we just have a little angel message to conclude and clarify this read and finish for our beautiful Taurus energy. Thank you. Thank you. So we have clarity. Beautiful. Angel wisdom reminds you that a busy, cluttered mind is a sick one and a still, clear mind is a divine one. Allow the wisdom in your heart to radiate out and dissolve the chatter of your mind. Know that your angel has drawn this to your attention and is waiting to help you in your task. Sit quietly so you can find stillness within. Then you can shine a pure, clear light onto every area of your life. In the clarity of this light, the angels will reveal a new way of being. You will see things differently and be able to make decisions with strength and clarity beautiful thank you angel spirit guys and the affirmation is my mind is quiet still and clear so go within do some beautiful meditations higher self meditations are gorgeous a chakra balancing meditations are absolutely beautiful you know it balances it puts it helps us get back into alignment with our true selves especially after this sword energy um so there you go my beautiful taurus have a beautiful week thank you for joining me don't forget to like subscribe and pop me a little message i very much appreciate it and i like to connect with your energy as well so lots of love to you blessings your way and i shall see you next time thank you